Another color challenge. So today, let's go ahead and train this. We can rank up. Um, so you got, you're going to get a given node. Know that this beginning of a linked list. The list will always contain a tail of a loop. Your objective is to determine the length of the loop. For example, the following, the tail size is 3, the loop size is 11. So, so this is 1, 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, no, I don't think we really can do this kata. I didn't really talk about noting this channel. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. Stop. Green nips, mice, or oh, whatever. Write a string that takes a uh, unit string of one or more word. And but uh and return the same string but with all the five or more letter reversed. Oh, stop spinning my word. Okay. So, this should be fairly simple, I would say. So, let's see, do have, so let's take a string. So, let's go ahead and split by space. So, you can say string, var string, splitted. Split equals string. The split with on a space. Let's actually just console the log this out. So we can see what is it. So how welcome, hey fellow soldiers. And now we're gonna check. So now we're gonna to loop through the string split. For let i equals uh, zero. I lessen string split the links and then I plus plus so what we are going to do is we are going to check for if string split the uh, dash I the length is um, greater than does it have to greater than five or equal to five three four five eight five more yep greater than or equal to five Okay, okay, wait. So if it's uh, greater or equal to 5, um, so we're gonna go ahead to replace. So we're gonna say another, so we can say var uh, answer, you could do another empty array. Then we can say, um, actually, probably we can just use a string for that. Uh, then we can say, so answer plus equal to uh, so we need to remove this so so for i equals for like j equals zero j is less than this thing dot links and then j plus plus so what do we need to do is um Okay, we already have 20 lines of code, which is not really efficient, but um, now we're gonna go. So, answer plus equal to. You know, I'm not that smart yet. Um, <laughs> uh, 
string products are going to help. So it's plus equal to uh, string dash i dash j. J, actually, we're going to say j. Okay. J equals to string. Is there a faster way to reverse a string in JavaScript? Is it a dot reverse function? Oh, it does have a dot reverse function. Okay, so we can just say dot, uh, so you can say answer plus equal to dot reverse. Reverse. I actually need to look through the logic of this thing. Oh, yeah, really need to do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. So now. And then um, plus. A single space. At the end. And uh, else, which mean uh, it's not really true. So we're, what we are going to do is answer plus equal to. Well, technically, just the same. And yeah, I think we are done. So this is the score console.log answer. I don't want to return it because um, I'm pretty sure there should be some problem. In fact, the reverse is not a function. Okay, let's just do some uh, try stuff. So we can say uh, our string equal to hello, and let's go ahead and say uh, console the log. Train that reverse. Did the split first? The split. Hmm. No, that's not going to work in this case. So we need to manually construct this. Uh, so we can say for uh, let j equal zero, uh, j equal to string split the length minus one. Actually, let's say j is must be greater than zero, j minus minus. So this is just doing the opposite way. And answer plus equal to j. Uh, no, actually, is this so let's get specific element? We got a j here, and uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead. Answer plus equal to a single space. 
percent serve password equal to a single space. Let's go. Oh shoot! No. Uh, run that again. Okay. Forget to console. I locked that out. Let's try to lock the answer. Hmm, probably cannot do that. Uh, minus one. <sighs> okay, let's go return the answer. It looks right. So I have an empty space. So probably gonna return to trim. So this remove all the empty space. And let's go attempt. Yeah, I didn't even use my robber duck at all. And we passed, which is, this is actually relatively probably the fastest code where I'm ever going to do. Uh, this should be ranked like seven, it's not that hard. So um let's go ahead and calm our code out so we can say um Change string to an array based on uh, change string to an array split by space. Uh, create answer string. So in this for loop, what we are doing is check loops through. Everything. I should really do an aggravation for that part. Let's say LTE. Uh, LTE everything within string split array. Yeah, if, um, uh, if certain element in that array is greater than five loops through uh, all characters in that string append this from um, reverses so reverse and add it to answer string Add a space at the end. If string is not greater than or equal to five, then let's just go ahead uh, add uh, to answer string regularly. Not change anything with a space. Return and trim. The answer to get rid of extra spaces. Trim is actually a really useful function. And indeed, we pass this code word test, which is great. And then uh, let me go submit our finals. Always take a long time to submit. So all right. Let me write this down. All right, so thank you for watching this um, power challenge. Actually, we're going to do a little bit. Ooh. Uh, actually, some advanced condition, which I'm going to talk about. We go a little bit more deeper into JavaScript. It's advanced if.
I will always have a map, which I'm actually going to plan to talk about sometimes. No, oh, strain literal. Hmm. Yeah, they all use reverse drawing. Um, it is much clever than mine. Mine is always have a lot because comment and I want to try to make it readable. It just excuse for writing so long code, but uh, okay, we have underscore. Okay, interesting. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like, please like and subscribe this video right now. I don't usually say that because I feel like to. And thank you for all the people who subscribed. And yeah, thank you for watching this cover challenge.